everyone, it's Penny here. I have a journal to show you today. This one is a very special journal and it's on its way to Mrs. Cog. Most of you would know Mrs. Cog and if you don't know Mrs. Cog, please go over to her channel and have a look at her beautiful videos and pop over to her Etsy store and have a look at all the wonderful digi downloads that she has available they're just beautiful so this book it's um, a little bit autumn -y in colours in the fact that it's got this beautiful gold um, throughout but it also has lovely spring green colours combined that sort of represents the um, new growth of spring and the leaves coming through on the trees the new growth is always really sort of bright green and it says on the front friends are special treasures of the heart um, a little daisy on the front and some pretty lace across the top there as well so the catch is um, a ribbon just talked over a little leaf shaped knob on the front that um, the ribbon hangs off so that you don't actually have to undo the bow it just pulls up and hooks over hooks over the little leaf on the front which gives you that little nice ruffled bow and you don't have to keep undoing the, the fluffy bow all the time so we'll have a quick look inside and the first thing you'll see is an echidna postcard which is um, a little element of Australia. I tried to put a, a few Australian bits and pieces in uh, mostly Australian animals and wildlife because I enjoy watching Mrs Cog's videos and seeing her beautiful bears and her rescuing Bob Robin and you know the lovely wildlife creatures around her area so I thought she might enjoy the same the first page here is a, a linen napkin yellows and greens it has a little curly pin on the front and I've left that envelope so you can actually um, remove it in case you know you've got some other idea for your sort of launch pad area there um, we have a library card in here which is from Jibbard Neary's um, Digis. It uh, has a very pretty picture of bluebells on the front and William Shakespeare is the author. Inside of that I have a little envelope that you can pull apart with the button, just a button closure and it's just a little sort of notepad a tiny little notepad and then inside of that we have another tiny really little notepad that has a cute little ladybird on it so that goes around like that and that goes in there there so that tucks just in there so we flip over we have a piece of old crocheted lace tablecloth a green pin I know that Mrs Cog Liz absolutely loves Van Gogh the sunflowers so I included a lovely picture of the sunflowers which is a pocket and it has a recipe in there which is from Mrs. Marshall's cookery book, a very antique cookery book from the early days. She was one of the queens of the day. It has recipes in it such as bath buns, cross buns and Sally Lunn. A, a note paper from a Tassie Devil notepad which I thought was rather cute. So pop that in there. Over here we have an envelope that's just attached with a 
clip, a paper clip, um, some poetry from a country women's uh, diary, some stenciling here of birds on a wire, and a piece of ribbon sewn down the side. I have a pretty doily in the middle, which is sort of tinted with blue and gold. Um, just a piece of paper, a bit of stenciling with a ruffle down the side, a bit of graph paper on that side. Here I've got a lovely little bead dangle with a flower on it. Just a pretty flower. Over this side we have a wallpaper pocket and this is a Tim Holtz embossing folder covered with the Alchemy metallic wax that's from Finnabar and it smells absolutely delicious it's really really smells lovely we have on this side um, these are cooking recipe cards have a little tab on the top with a Scottish pin, kilt pin, with Elizabeth Smith's initials on there. Just for you, Liz. The fabric on there is from a 1970s Sheridan Sheet Company in Hobart, Tasmania. Back in the day, Everybody collected up that fabric and made their kids dresses and little sundresses and hot pants. So it's quite pretty, happy little sort of fabrics. We all know that Mrs. Cog loves sunflowers. So I added a lovely sunflower card here and a sunflower tag. That's a digi from Porch Swings. And we have a little tally card in here which is just for putting your scores on and a friendship sewn on a pocket sewn on there so we've got some sparrows here and a little garden gate and the top of the book has a little stamp pattern on it just to break the pages up a little bit here I've got a little autumn toned ribbon with leaves, gold leaves on it. And here I have some bears and that's a bit of an ode to Liz's lovely bears that come to visit. She had a mother bear and her three baby cubs come into her garden and I thought that was just beautiful. So I put an envelope it's just clipped onto the page there it can be taken off it has a little piece of fabric a fabric piece sewn on there and of course a button a little yellow button it's just an old book page it's actually from a book about authors some music paper a stencil A recipe for tomatoes, a French tomato recipe from an old recipe book that had some really lovely drawings, sketches in it that I thought suited. Some baked spinach, vegetable salads, cucumber and yogurt salad. I actually added a bit of washi tape down the centre to give it a little bit more strength and I sewed that on with a zigzag stitch. That cotton that I've sewn it with is actually an antique silk and it was made in Australia for the war uh, efforts to uh, sew army uniforms so it's very strong. Um, that company actually closed in 1959 so that gives you an idea of roughly how old the cotton is. I've just put some little hearts on the edge ends of the um, threads that I've left inside aubergine salad here and 
Weekly goals and habits, my top three goals and how I will achieve them. Goals and habits tracker. I know that Liz absolutely loves um, her, her journals that have these sort of things in them, so I added a few. The uh, rose stencil, some music book, just a book page again. I put some flip outs in which are actually just on the heavy sort of calico fabric. And that's a Kazaz stamp on there, which is of dragonflies and wildflowers. Some more stenciling, some very soft stenciling on that side and a little bit of stitching, sewing, zigzag. This one here is Tasmania's emblem flower, which is in a little lace um, belly band that I've sewn on, and it's the Waratah, which is a very pretty flower that grows in high mountain mountainous areas in the cold snow. Very pretty red flower. This side we have a lime green ribbon down the side and have a strip of the cover fabric which was a lovely spring floral design. Have a little piece of the inside um, cover which was graphic 45 uh, blooms I think and a piece of the 1970s Sheridan sheet material fabric which is a very pretty green print and inside we have a cup of Lady Grey tea nice cup of tea um, two tags with some eyelash and a piece of the 1970s Sheridan sheet material fabric which is a very pretty green print and inside we have a cup of Lady Grey tea nice cup of tea um, two tags with some eyelash um, wool in gold eyelash fabric graph paper the other side of that doily with some gold paint on it and the st a little bit of stenciling just a fraction of stenciling there. On this side we have a picture of Tramp, which is an ink, just an ink drawing that I have done on um, some very fine um, Japanese paper very lightweight paper there so that's a little my version of what I think Tramp looks like it's just a, t a tip in with some tape down the side which I didn't glue just in case um, you wanted to take it out move it or something and it says, don't be fooled by my fluffy exterior. <laughs> um, have another page from the, the Country Diary, which has a cat on it and a little saying. Have a stitched pocket on this side, which is the other side of the Van Gogh sunflowers picture. And I have inside of here an envelope. Give another one of those little button button uh, catches, and just a little piece of music paper, a little saying, a rocking chair. So that's that, just goes around, catches over there, and I'll just take that 
inside the envelope here. There we go. Oops, paper clip just holding it so it doesn't disappear inside there. The other side is the tea cloth or nap table napkin. And I've sewn on there some daisy trim and a lovely Tim Holtz pin there. Which um, I think it says uh, Elements 48. And inside here we have a koala and a koala baby. Very Australian. And they're on a tag that has a wood grain print on it. This side we have some ivy. A wall of ivy with uh, a trim, a um, leaf trim down the side. On this side we have a pocket made from embroidered fabric, which is a black black trim and some tape butterfly tape down the side. And in the pocket we have a moth tag which is a double tag done with some washi tape on the bottom and just a little collage of paper now that was a Wendy's journal adventure tutorial and another little a little book it's just made of the leftover papers which is cute Handy to write phone numbers or little things in. This one is one of my eco dyed papers with some Australian plants such as gum leaves, wattle, um, just different native Australian plants that I've used in eco dyed collection. That green paper here is often used to wrap around flowers. It's like a, a strong, um, uh, tough, it's um, grainy like leather paper. And it's a coffee dyed lined paper that has marked in the pattern. Another sewn in flip up. It's actually a graphic 45 stamp which says save a life and all its magic. That one. And a little stamp on the bottom of the page just to give it a little trim. From a very old Australian Country Life magazine or country country something, country gardens. And I thought it was cute. I went with the theme. This one is a stitched pocket with a this is a gibbered Neary download digi of her embroidery that she does. She does she has some beautiful prints up there. That's just one of them, one of the series. Some lace trim. And a tag it has a flower on it and it's all sewn, stitched around in blue to match the little blue button and a little piece of blue sari silk at the top. And we have a little bird under. This side we have half a doily, a little tag with a flower on the top and just some washi tape. Pretty with washi tape, graph paper, plain paper, copy dyed, tea dyed paper. And this is my Ode to Bob Robin, which was a little bird you would know if you follow um, Liz's Facebook page that she rescued a little robin one day when the weather had turned really foul and he had got caught in a storm, he was a little fledgling and was tipped out of his nest and she watched him all day until it just got too 
uh, ferocious out there for him to survive. So she brought him inside and put him in a, a box with a light, dried out his little feathers and fed him up for a, for a few days until he got his strength back. Then in, during the day she used to take him back outside so that his family of um, robins could come and visit him, which they did during the day, and eventually he was able to be released back to his family, much to her enjoyment to watch him in the garden. So this little collection is a little ode to Bob and his family. There's a little pocket in there, There's just a little folder and some little tags that you can pop into. That's a Tim Holtz die. We're popping in little photos and things. Have a little bird nest on the opposite side. And some more poems from the, the Country Journal mag, uh, book. Over here I've got a little lolly bag decorated with some washi tape birds and and some stenciling with birds on the wire. Just so back to, back to here. This is a tea card with a flower and some blossoms and over here we have the coffee coffee review cupping review coffee so if you go to a cafe and you really love the coffee you can write down who it was brewed by the roast grade um, different things about its aromatic intensity coffee sweetness acidity body finish so if you're a coffee freak you can really get right into it there a tea stain paper with a little stamp at the bottom, uh, more tea, coffee stain paper with stamp at the top, and the weekly goals and habits page, I put one of those in each section so you can continue that on. In the middle I have a map of Tasmania with a flounder there which is a fish that's caught around, certainly around where I live which is here, um, Opossum Bay at the very bottom of Tasmania right at the end of this little arm here that comes right round here so Hobart is actually over here and I'm across the water from Hobart so not quite an island but almost <laughs> just hanging on by a very thin neck of land so have a stamped flower there uh, most of the stamps in here are Kazaz stamps which is an Australian company and a flip a piece from the poetry diary some more graph paper a pocket a little pocket in here with another one of those tags with the um, bluish teal sari silk ribbon with some crocheted lace um, handmade paper flower and sewn around with a little blue button and a little saying at the top that says if it doesn't open it's not your door and sort of a, a braided braided top on the threads so it's got sort of three three colours um, braided together And that's the back of the magazine page. Yeah. Oops, sorry. So we have more copy top die page that flips out. More of the florist paper that also flips out there. Um, we have a Eco died. I need some of Mrs. Cog's pegs here. They'd be very handy at the minute. <laughs> that is an eco dyed paper with some. I think that's a pepper tree leaf. That one there, and a little tab just to turn it easily. Sometimes the, the eco dyed pages are a bit powdery. 
have a corner pocket there with lace down the side and there's just a couple of tags in there and another recipe card with the Sheridan sheet fabric on there which you can see has a interesting 1970s style pattern which they will be known for and these little tabs sort of hang out the side of the book so we have in between the signatures um, we have the ivy with some yellow daisy trim down the side this one's yellow roses with a crochet trim and there's a little bead on the top of that one too with the rose flower on it little glass beads they have roses around them They're really quite dainty that's that one I have a tree cut out of a tree another one of the recipe cards Here. One. And behind that there's a botanical drawing of a plant. And the artist is, oh, I don't know if I can pronounce her name, Tanya Skaraschikin. I'm very sorry if I pronounced that name wrong, but I'll show it to you there so you can see if it will. I'm not sure if it will focus on that. Right there. So that is that. Over here we've got a little tag just clipped in to a flip, a flip out, which says wander without reason. You never know what you might find. A new journey and it has a little curly clip on there. So there's a a paper clip. Some more graph paper, a beautiful tree. I really love that tree. It's got a bird in it. A little bluebird. It's probably a robin too actually, if you look very closely. I hope I'm not making to see sick. So we have another cupping review for the coffee shop. And some coffee dyed pages. Another one from the Country Diary. They're just taken straight out of the book as they are, taken apart. Have a lovely sunflower here, which comes from an old encyclopedia, and I just thought that was really pretty because I know how much Liz loves her sunflowers, and they are beautiful. She grows beautiful sunflowers. And then we have a middle section so you can actually see better the, um, the goals page which is weekly goals and habits so Liz has got plenty of room there to fill out all her weekly goals and how to achieve them and this week I learned and next week's focus so she'll be able to sort out her Oh, also I've got little flowers on the bottom of the, the um, strings there. And that's the other part of the sunflower description from the encyclopedia. Some coffee stained paper, plenty of room to write things. Another page from the diary with a lovely little saying on it. Or sewing, a little bit of sewing here and there. Flip. Now this one is actually Australian wattle blossom. So that's one of our very well known plants here in Australia. It's bright yellow and it's very pretty and lots of people are allergic to it because it has very fluffy blossom on it that blows in the wind. So people tend to get, um, actually it's out right now, there's quite a bit of it around. So people get allergies from it. That's a little fold out pocket. 
has a card in it that says do more of what makes you happy and it's just one of those pockets that you can unfold and you've got more writing space so you can put secret stuff in there and it just folds back up and tucks tucks in behind there and here's a little pocket so um, I don't know who to credit for those because I've seen so many people do them Patricia Viramontes um, Gail Agostinelli um, oh gosh um, um, Yvonne there's just so many people doing them I, I really don't know where they came from first so <laughs> strawberries we have lovely strawberries and I'll bet you anything Mrs Cog has some of those in her garden they're really um pretty there and they look very springtime-ish don't they and just a pretty little card so we have a pocket pocket on this side um, that just pins on there and it has a little leaf a little leaf on the clip and that's just a uh, pocket you can open up and an envelope that you can put bits and pieces in and I've made all of these floating because I thought it would be much better that you can move them from one place to another and if you feel like you've got too much in there you can take some out and put them somewhere else it's got a lovely piece of sari ribbon trim on there which um, Liz sent me a, a gorgeous bundle of I've, I've never had anything like that to work with so it's really an amazing gift <laughs> thank you Liz I really appreciate that so I put a little sample in here with the button because I was so eager to have a play with it some more uh, coffee stain paper this is a little wallpaper pocket. It has two just little tiny tags in there. But that one, that particular one. So they'd be little page minders for you. There's a little birdie with some lace on. It's rather cute. There's lots of little birdies in here because I thought as soon as I think of spring I think of birdies. So in went the birds. Here we have another of our echidnas and these are very light coloured echidnas. I've got a few of these in my garden. I dig little holes under the fence but they're very cute. I love having them around. I really enjoy watching them poke about getting their ants and things. <coughs> so I thought Liz might like to see some Australian animals. This is a lovely little uh, trim with yellow roses that I thought went well with yellow rose paper. And the back of the tea tray or napkin, table napkin, I think it is. Another wallpaper pocket which is a very tough sort of vinyl finish feel to it but it's so pretty because flowers themselves have quite a oh, sort of colourful shine to them I can't, I'm not sure that you can see but they they do look really pretty I have another little um, oh, it's a calico ruffle that I've stitched there I have a few of those in the book and a bead that I put together myself don't look too close Liz it's not going to be as good as yours <laughs> Liz is professional at, at bead making and I'm still practicing <laughs> but I had to add a little bead on the end there we have another a little pocket in here like a little a mini file folder actually and it has inside 
some playing cards in a Tim Holtz pocket and all of these playing cards have pictures of Tasmania on them so you get a little view of that's table cape at table cape they grow lots of flowers they're very pretty it's a tulip farm actually so they're tulips the colder climate down here is not unlike Holland where they grow lots of tulips in there oops I'm not sure where I was so they all have that's Mount Wellington with the Hobart Bridge on there and this one is the famous Salamanca Place with Mount Wellington in the background so I, I put a few in there just to give her an idea of where I live so I thought that was interesting anyway you can put all sorts of bits and pieces in there so it's got just a little bit of butterfly tape along the bottom there and a bit of collage so I'll take that in there another recipe card with a tab on there because I know she does a lot of recipes I've seen her pumpkin soup video we have a pot of tulips there and some antique irons on the back because we know she irons her sari silk so that it's beautiful and fluffy when she puts her bows on see it's all about Mrs. Cog here this one is the uh, florist paper again which has that nice texture it's beautiful to feel it's got a rough texture some more graph paper some more um, tea stain, coffee stain paper this one is a doily cut out with um, a pocket hole in the top so you've actually got room to poke a little tag in the side or a little pocket which this is a cute little pocket from the graphic 45 collection that I used for the cover it's very pretty and it was very flowery so and it had Bob Robin on the front so <laughs> I used that one it's a very cute little one little birdie stamp down the bottom there butterfly kisses so we have a butterfly page on this side I have a, a really old pattern which is a knitting pattern from the 1970s and I have a row of flowers oh, they look like buttercups but I think they're actually old yellow roses and a butterfly and on this side which is why I put it in here because I thought this was so lovely is how to do knitting stitch and it had the alphabet so you can actually do a stitch for three or four and you've got the entire alphabet there which I thought was lovely it looks like cross stitch but it's actually knitted cross stitch um, knitting stitch embroidery so and the, the kids are really cute on that pattern book with their little hats and gloves and jumpers I thought they were gorgeous sort of reminds me of my childhood a bit probably Liz's too so more weekly goals, more graph paper, more tea stain paper over here we've got this one is the eucalyptus flower so the gum blossom you might know it as it's called eucalyptus lecoxalon rosa and I have quite a few of those in my garden this particular one has a really pink deep fuchsia pink blossom it's a lovely tree but they all vary they come in many colors some of them are yellow depending on depends on the um, some are white um, depends on the breed we have some with little red ones some orange so more sewing more forest paper more coffee stone paper more poetry there's a lot in this book isn't there no wonder it's so fat this is um it's a restaurant restaurant um it's like a well like the guest tabs that you're used to but it's an australian version it's got a little 
um, chef on the top and it's just what you would write your order on if you were in a restaurant. It has some butterfly tape along the top there. This side is the Royal Botanical Gardens in Hobart. So that's a, actually a picture from a, a um, tourist brochure and it has um, a kookaburra and a little wren, a little blue wren, which are two very Australian birds. There. And this little envelope here, it has a, a baby, or a kangaroo with a baby joey in her pouch. I'm not sure if there's any light that I can get that in that you can see it. Bring it up close, I'm not sure. If you can actually see the joey in there, probably too tiny. The ruffle from the 1970s Sheridan Sheet Company in Hobart and the three little buttons which um, reminded me of Liz. And this lovely piece I put on the collage is another digi from Jibbed Neary, which is from her embroidered flowers collection and they're all beautiful. Um, inside this I have some interesting bits of memorabilia from Tasmania's Osmeridian mining days and these are actually miners rights so uh, they're dated 1926 that one and this one's 1927 and they're actually a family a family member of ours um, did go mining in the day so um, December 1925 that one was issued so that's interesting so I put in a little bit about um, Osmeridian mining in Tasmania just for a curiosity little little read so that's tells you about what they're really all about and where they come from and as I said the little envelope has um, <laughs> when I didn't realize when I pulled it out that it had West Virginia and um, all the sort of history and details of where where you know the, the um, economy and history and everything about that so I thought I won't glue it down I'll wait till she's had a chance to read it and she can decide <laughs> so that little that little one there just to hold on to that and that's actually the end of the book we've got to the very back we have another napkin there with the pretty flowers on it and the beautiful graphic 45 with the robin in the middle and a postcard here kiss your baby the little things and a kangaroo or wallaby and her little baby and you can just write on the back it's just got a postcard on the back so there you go Liz that's your book I hope you enjoy it I hope it, it um, fills a gap for you somewhere in between those beautiful journals that you already have and are working in there you are.